U.S. Citizenship Interview Actual Case with an Actual Applicant During your USA citizenship interview, the USCIS officer will inquire about your personal background in addition to civics questions and English tests. These questions are based on the information from Form N-400. The officer repeats them to ensure accuracy, check for changes, and assess English proficiency. Questions in the interview may differ from the application to prevent memorization. Understand each question, review your application, and practice for common inquiries about marital status and English skills. Practice more and more and help yourself pass your interview successfully. Be well prepared for your actual interview. Let's start the mock interview with your channel American Citizenship. Good morning, how are you? Hello, I'm doing well, thank you. How about yourself? I'm good. I am here for my citizenship interview. Can I see your appointment letter, please? Certainly, here you go. Thank you. Please enter the building. Remove your belt, jacket, and everything in your pockets. Place them into a blue bin, then proceed through the metal detector. All right. Now, please take all your belongings and head to the second floor to see customer service. Thank you and have a great day. Good morning, how can I help you today? Good morning, I'm here for my US citizenship interview. Can I see your appointment letter and state issued ID? Sure, here you go. Thanks. Let me check your information in our system. You're all set. Please take a seat. The USCIS officer will call your name soon. Thanks. Mr. Manning Gwen. Yes, it's me. Good morning. How are you doing? Hello, I'm doing well. I'm Officer Sarah, and I'll be conducting your interview today. Could you please accompany me? Yes. How are you? I'm good, thank you for asking. How's your day going? It's going okay. Have you ever been here before? No, I've never been here before. This is my first time. Where did you get the biometric screening done? I got the biometric screening at the USCI Application Support Center, situated on East Maple Street. All right, please show me your green card, your ID, and your interview notice. Please remain standing. As a part of the interview process, I will place you under oath before beginning the interview. Do you swear you will tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, I do. Please have a seat. Thank you. It's a cold day today, isn't it? Yes, it's really cold outside. Did anyone come with you today? My wife came with me. Did you drive here? Yes, I drove here. Where is your wife right now? She is waiting for me at waiting area. All right, do you feel well prepared for your interview today? Yes, I have studied every day since I applied for the U.S. citizenship test. I am little nervous but I am ready for the interview. 
Sounds good. So, you know why you're here today, right? Yes, I'm here for my citizenship interview. Good. You've just made a commitment to be truthful. Therefore, any information you provide today is expected to be accurate. Do you consent to this agreement? Yes, I do. First of all, I need to take your photograph, so please look at this camera. Great! Next I also need to take your fingerprints. Can you please place your right index finger on the scanner? Now left index finger please. Awesome! We start the civics test first. Please answer out loud. If you don't understand you can ask me to say again. Do you understand what I mean? Yes, I understand. Thank you. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? U.S. Diplomat under our Constitution some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Give a driver's license. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Fought for civil rights. Sorry, that's not correct. Let's try another question. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them to me. Citizens 18 and older can vote. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Louisiana Territory. How many U.S. Senators are there? 100. Well, you got more than six questions correct, so you passed the civics test portion. What is your full name? My full name is Min Nguyen. Is Nguyen your family name? Yes, it is. Do you want to change your name? No, I don't. What is your date of birth? My date of birth is on September 10, 1990. Where were you born? I was born in the Vietnam. You are a citizen of the Vietnam, correct? Yes, it's correct. When did you start residing at your present address? I started living at my current address upon arriving in the U.S. When did you come to U.S.? I came to the U.S. on December 23, 2017. Have you lived at any other places after coming to the U.S.? No, I only live at the current address in the U.S. All right, where does your spouse work? She works at Morgan Chase Bank in Los Angeles. Do you know how many years she has been working there? Yes, she has been working there about six years. What is the name of your school in the U.S.? University of Southern California. What was your major? My major was accounting and banking. When did you attend that school? I started the school on June 7, 2018. Did you complete your graduation? Yes, I did. When did you graduate? I graduated in October 2010. 
Do you work right now? Yes, I do. What do you do? I am a bank teller at Wells Fargo Bank. How long have you worked at Wells Fargo Bank? I worked there for two years. Where else have you worked in the past three years? I worked at the First Republic Bank before. What did you do in the Vietnam? Before I came to the U.S., I was a financial assistant in Vietnam National Bank. All right. Have you ever left the U.S. since you came here? Yes, I left the U.S. one time since I came here. Please tell me in details about this trip. Sure. I left the U.S. on November twentieth, twenty nineteen. I went to Vietnam on vacation with my family, and I returned the U.S. on November twenty eighth, two thousand and ten. Total, I was outside the U.S. on this trip for nine days. Okay. Did you take any other trips outside the U.S.? No, I only took one trip outside the U.S. Good. Can I see your passport, please? Sure. Here it is. Thank you. How long have you had your green card? I have my green card for five years. How did you get your green card? I got my green card through my marriage. How long have you been married? I have been married for seven years. When did you get married? I got married on September second, two thousand fifteen. Did you get married in the U.S.? No, I got married in my home country. How long have you lived in the U.S.? I lived in the U.S. for five years. When did you come to the U.S.? I came to the U.S. on December twenty third, two thousand seventeen. Do you and your spouse have any children together? Yes, we have one daughter together. What is your daughter's name? Her name is Emily Grace. Is your daughter eighteen years old? No. My daughter is just five years old. Is your daughter's birthday February nineteenth, two thousand eighteen? Yes, she is. Does your daughter lives with you right now? Yes, she lives with me and my wife. Do you and your spouse have any stepchildren? No, we don't have any stepchildren. Do you and your spouse have any children in the Vietnam? No, we don't. What is your phone number? Two one five four nine nine eight zero seven six. Is either of your parents U.S. citizen? No, my parents were not U.S. citizens. Where do your parents currently live? My parents lived in Vietnam before they passed away a long time ago. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What is your height? I'm five feet five inches. How much do you weigh? I'm one hundred and thirty-seven pounds. What is your address right now? One twenty-three Main Street, Anatown, California five six seven eight nine. Is your current mailing address the same as the home address? Yes, it is the same. How long have you been living at the current address? I have been living at the current address for five years. Who do you live with at the current address? I live with my wife and my child. Whose names are listed on the title deed of your house? The title of the house includes my wife's name. Why are you not on your house title? Because my wife bought the house before I came to the U.S., we are going to add my name into the title next year when refinancing. When did your spouse buy the house? She bought the house in April 2016. She bought the house after getting married with you, correct? Yes, that is correct. 
Do you know why you came here today? Yes, I came here for my U.S. citizenship interview. Why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? Because I want a better life for my family and to register to vote. How many times have you been married? I have been married one time. How many times has your spouse been married? My wife has been married two times. Can I see your marriage certificate? Sure, here you go. What is your spouse's full name? Her full name is Lin Tran. When was she born? She was born on August 14, 1992. Was your spouse born in the U.S.? No, she was born in the Vietnam. How long has your spouse been in the U.S.? She has been here about 20 years. When did she come to the U.S.? She came to the U.S. when she was 10 years old. When did you meet your spouse? I met her in April 2013 when she came to the Vietnam on a vacation. Where did you meet her? I met her at Hanoi, the Vietnam. We encountered each other at a restaurant with a bar. What race are you? I'm Asian. What is your country of nationality? My country of nationality is Vietnam. Tell me your social security number, please. 9715-32157 Have you ever been in jail or prison in Vietnam? No, never. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No, never. What is immigration benefit? Things like a visa, green card or citizenship. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No, never. Were you ever a worker volunteer or soldier or did you otherwise ever serve in prison or jail? No, never. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials in order to get entry into the United States? No, never. Did you ever register for the Selective Service before? No. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes since you came to the U.S.? No, I never owe taxes since I came to the U.S. Do you pay taxes every year? Yes, I pay taxes every year. Do you and your spouse file taxes separately? No, we file taxes jointly every year. All right, when did you file your tax return last year? Last year I filed tax return in March 27th. Can I see your tax return paperwork during the last three years? Sure, here they are. Did you ever serve and help or participate in a guerrilla group? No, never. What does guerrilla group mean? A group uses weapons to attack the government. Have you ever been a member of the Communist Party in the Vietnam? No, never. Have you ever been in jail or prison in Vietnam? No, never. Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, political opinion, or national origin? No, never. Do you know what national origin is? Yes, I do. It is where a person is from. Were you ever involved in not letting someone practice his or her religion? No, never. Have you ever registered to vote in the United States? No. Have you ever been a member of an organization or political party? No, never. Have you ever been arrested cited by any law enforcement officer for any reason? 
No, never. Do you understand what cited means? Yes, it means given a ticket by a police. Are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction when required by the law? Yes, I'm willing. Can you give an example of work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, if there is an earthquake, I would have the Red Cross take up people. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I'm willing. Awesome. As the last part, I will move on to the English reading and writing test. Please look at the iPad and read a sentence out loud for me. What is the largest city in America? Now please use a pen and write a sentence. I am going to read to you right now. New York City is the largest city in America. Good. You did a great job. Please review the updated application on the tablet and make sure if your information is correct. You don't have to memorize it but please read it carefully and make sure you understand the word to the oath of allegiance. Then sign at the bottom of last page. Congratulations, you passed the citizenship test. This is a copy of your test results. Thank you very much, I was so worried today. But I'm so happy because I made it, thank you again. You are very welcome, we will send you a schedule for the oath ceremony. You'll probably receive it in three weeks. You still have an important step that needs to be done to become a U.S. citizen. Make sure you attend the oath ceremony as scheduled. Do you have any questions at this point? No, I'm good. Thank you so much. You are most welcome. Let me walk you back to the customer service area. Have a good day. Thank you.